by UCLA head coach Mick Croning, as well as student athletes, <laughs> Tiger Campbell and Jaime Hakez Jr. Coach, opening statement. I don't have one. My opening statement is it just took 33 minutes to get me in here, which is ridiculous. Any questions? Uh, we're going to open up questions for the student athletes to begin with, please. In the center. Tark Patel from Los Angeles Daily News. Hi, May. Just talk about those final moments. You, Omari Bailey makes the three, and there's 12 seconds left. Clearly, the game's not over. What's going through your mind? Um, that the game isn't over. Um, try to stay pretty, pretty level-headed throughout um, every game. And try not to get too high. Try not to get too low. Um, you know, he had a big shot, um, and, and we lost. Other questions for the student athletes? We have nothing. We're going to let you go. Okay, we have one here. Yeah, this is for either Could you Jim please, Alexander uh, from the yeah. Southern California News Group. Uh, for either Jaime or Tiger, uh, the offensive uh, drought in the second half, what, from, from your eyes, what was happening? What was, was, was there, a, there a specific reason? Just shots not going down. Were there other things that you could have done? Um, you know, I'd say we ran some really good sets um, to go at uh, what we thought was, you know, we could take advantage of. And we got some really good looks, and we just weren't able to um, knock them in. So I would say that our drought was just due to us getting good shots and not making them. Uh, I, that's what I'd say. Okay, right here in the middle, and we got one in the back. Hi, mate. Uh, Drew Timmy, you know, I think he finished with 36 points or something around there. Without a Dembona, what was some of the things you guys tried to uh, neutralize him as best you could? Um, yeah, I think we, we tried our best to stop him. <clears throat> we didn't get it done. Back here in the back. Yeah, uh, Jaime, this is uh, for you, Kevin Sweeney from Sports Illustrated. Uh, I'm curious on that last three by Strother. Um, you went under. Uh, it's kind of like the Villanova. He, he, he was not guarding Strother. Oh, he was just. He, he was not deep. guarding Strother. I, I, so can you just take me through that play? With, with what, what was there a miscommunication? Like what was the? What did you see coverage wise? Um, yeah, I was guarding Salas, I think. Um, yes. Garden Salas, uh, I knew that you know, he's a driver, so I had to play off him and kind of be in help. Um, uh, I think Dylan, Dylan was guarding um, Strother. Um, yeah, like I said, he had a big shot. Oh, it was tough. <laughs> All right, right over here. John Kristen, Daily Bruin, um, for the players. Um, can you talk about Amari Bailey's shot at the end there that put you guys up? Um, what it's like having a freshman step up in a moment like that? Yeah, um, that's who he is. <clears throat> He's a shooter, and I've been telling him that. He could really shoot the ball. He's played tremendous for us um, this entire year. Really stepped it up towards the end when we needed him to. And he's just that just shows who he is. He's, he's a gamer, and he, he big big time player, and big time players shine in moments like this. Okay, if nothing else, we're going to release the student athletes. Thank you, guys. You guys are free to go. We'll direct any questions to Coach Cronin. Yes, right down front. Yep. Jay Thomas, UNLV TV. Uh, Coach, I just want to know, um, what was the game the game plan for Drew Timmy? Obviously, he's a great player, but they have uh, um, great players all around the perimeter as well. So what was the game plan for that? Do our best. In the, oh, right here in the front. Mick Kurt Sandoval, ABC7. In that drought in the second half, hindsight being. A lot of open shots, but didn't go down. There's no hindsight. Wide open shots. Um, and multiple times we got fouled, no call. Right here in the middle. Dave and Tiger didn't make a basket in the second half. They had good looks. And Jaime got murdered on about four layups. Tark, Tark Patel from the Daily News. Mick, can you talk about the decision to not play a Dembona? Uh, he wasn't able to play. T too much pain or? He wasn't able to play. If I wanted to elaborate, I would elaborate. OK, we're down front here. Um, Jay Thomas, UNLV TV. Jaime was all over the stats, assists, steals, all of that. Um, how awesome is it to have a player that takes pride in defense as much as he does on offense? 
Jaime is one of the best four-year players to ever play at the the school with the best tradition and the most the the most uh, great players in the history of college basketball. And since um, you know Coach Wooden's retirement and it became a four-year, you know, the freshman became eligible. He goes down with the guys that played four years as as good as any of them. Okay, right in the back here. Uh, ben Balcelli Times, two things if I could. Um, first, on their their shot to go ahead, what's the best way to defend that play? It's like a tricky kind of trailing We were, We should have been tighter on Strother. That we were the whole game. We just weren't on that play. And then uh, how? So if we were tighter, then he couldn't have looped behind. We were sagging off too. Dylan was off too far. That's the answer to that. And what we, that was our game plan against him all night. Because he's made those shots. Like Xavier had him beat back in November, and he went behind. He he hit two thirty footers against Xavier. And then knowing that Jaime, uh, Tiger, and Dave, who elevated this program, uh, won't play together again, how hard is that for you to know that uh, you know it's come to an end? For yeah, you? look, we addressed why we lost. We got out rebounded by twenty four. We got a very tough whistle, and our guards didn't make a shot in the second half. Then I told them how proud I was of them because they didn't flinch. I mean, you know, you lose two of the best players in the Pac-12. Defensive player of the year, freshman of the year, we still expect to win. And I'm happy because they still expected to win. I'm happy that they still expected to win and that, that uh, we're still upset that we lost. So, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, I have people say, man, they, you know, they thought we – what a game we played against Arizona in the conference finals. I thought you were going to get beat 25, you know, without those two guys. I'm like, well, have you not been watching our program? You not know what we're about? You know, like, that, that's not what time it is at UCLA. There's a lot of good teams out there this year, but a lot of them got whacked by 20 on multiple nights. Not us. Not us. So, took a great player. Uh, a 35 or 32 foot shot, a great player in Drew Timmy, and a really tough whistle to send us home, despite everything we've been through. Down front here. Jim Alexander from the Southern California News Group. Nick, if you could kind of elaborate on what Jaime, Tiger, and David have meant to this program, not just this year, but the whole, the whole time they've been there, and what they've done, what they've done to help elevate this program. Well, loyalty, which is rare in today's society, which is something that I have great respect for. Um, and, you know, when I look at those guys, you know, I respect people that I think work. I don't respect anybody I think is a fraud that doesn't work hard. I just don't, and I don't care if you're like me. Um, th I have great respect for those three because when you watch them play, you don't think, well, he should be better than that. Like, when you watch Dave Singleton, you see he's limited athletically. You see, you know, that he gets everything he can out of his body and his talent. Tiger Campbell, unbelievable career. Has got, you can't get any more out of his body and his, his God-given things that he has that he can't change. He totally maxes it out. And so, you know, Jaime Jaquez, same thing. Came into us with a... It was a human turnover the first two months. And I just played him because he was as crazy as me. We were losing. He was pissed. I said, I can build the program with this guy because he's got heart. Now look at him. But it proves, you know, if you work hard, you have a great attitude. You can, you can, get really, you can become a really, really good player. So that's why I respect those guys so much. Okay, thank you, Coach. All right, guys.